some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, several days after a sovereign citizen had been pulled over and had his vehicle towed because, well, you know the usual soft tart excuses. They don't believe in license plates, driver's license, or insurance or anything like that. So now he is at the tow truck company uh, trying to get his vehicle back, but the problem is no driver's license. And he doesn't want to pay the impound fees, which leads to him allegedly threatening the uh, employees there and the cops show up to take care of business. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Okay. What do you mean? I don't have to identify myself if I committed a crime. Well, you have to leave the premise if you're not going to cooperate with us, because this is a city have of I property. Have I committed a crime? I'm asking you a question. Have you, I committed? You have. You committed an ordinance violation for disorderly conduct. Disorderly the conduct. Threats that you made to the employee. What threat did I make? You made threats. What threat, sir? We're not going to go around about it. What threat did I make? You're making. You can either pay your fees and show them identification, or you can leave. You're not going to hold up the lobby anymore. Yes. Hold on. Hold on. Here, we'll do it together. No, I, we're all recording. No, I want your badge number. We'll give you all that outside. outside. We're not doing that inside. Here you go. Okay. You're, I'm the I, color of law. You're violating my rights. But you're in rights. the United States of America. Oh my goodness, he brought out the big guns first, the color of law argument. Uh, Sobtar, do you realize that has more to do with civil rights than anything else? Mainly based on your race, gender, uh, religion, I mean... Are you being violated by uh, because of any of those? So far, I'm going to say no, because, well, you don't have a driver's license. You don't have insurance or anything like that. So this is not a civil rights thing. This is a matter of traffic law, you dumbass. Do you understand that? You can show me all those what, documents. What those mean nothing. Sir, that's about the sir. No, why are you grabbing here. my... Do you want me to read them or no? No. Okay, here. Well, let's talk about so other people can be served. Can you read it outside. No, I'm, I'm being served. You're you, not, don't have, done. you don't have You're a being right. Service. Oh, You're I'm being, being refused? You are being refused service. Why? Because you know, won't re show your ID they, she, the, and you don't uh, want to pay your fees. Sir. No. That, sir, here we're, that doesn't matter. Pass that. This is a government building. I'm here serving legal documents. You cannot violate my rights, sir. Your rights aren't being violated. Yeah, you're, you're, you're they impeding can, me. They can refuse you're your service. Me. Do you understand that? How? That's discrimination. By refusing your service. That's discrimination. Now, everyone else in this lobby has to follow the same rules and laws that you do. And I'm, I'm here. Or, guess what? what? They don't get their car. Tell me what I'm doing wrong, sir. You don't even you don't not even have the authority you're, to be talking to me right now. They don't have the authority to be talking to you? Who the hell do you think you are? Do you think you're some sort of god? Well, well, that's probably pretty close because, well, you do think you're above the law. But that bubble of yours is about to be shattered here in the next few minutes when you leave here empty-handed. I'm special! By your identification. I'm asking you for your badge number and your name. You can have all name that badge on number, a sir. card when we're done. Paolo. What's your name? What's your the badge and name and, and badge your number? number? Okay. And what is your name? My name's hey. right here. Concerns agreed okay. man. It's time to go. We're leaving. Unless you can Are you threatening me? No. Are you no. threatening me? I'm telling did you. I, I'm asking you what crime did I commit? Let's talk outside. I already told you the ordinance violation. I said a crime. And if order, you refuse to leave, crime? then it will be trespassing. You're they no have, longer being the owner of the here. business has to trespass me, sir, not you. That's why they're here, you brain dead moron. You were causing a disturbance. They wanted you gone, so they called the police after you refused to leave, and now the cops are here to make sure that you do leave. Does that compute it to you in any 
way, shape, or form, or is your brain so filled with lead paint that's impossible to learn anything? No, no, we do that. You don't have the authority. They have I to. Do. Where's we the, just talked to her. Where's the, the owner? She's not the owner. The owner is the city of Milwaukee, sir. It's an entity. It's not a person. The, the person who entity. manages this entity is back there. We talked to her. So right? why is she talking to me? Why are, why are you talking to me? They're done with you. They're not you talking don't, to you. You don't work for the city I work for the city of Milwaukee. This is under the city of Milwaukee. This is, the city of Milwaukee. This is one of the buildings that is under the city of Milwaukee. I'm being denied service. No, you're not being denied service. You are declining to give your identification, which is a rule. To her. You did not, according to what they no. just told what us. Do you, what do you keep doing that for? You need your identification. What identification? Okay, let's go. It's time if to go. you don't have a Wisconsin or another Man, state, you I need to force me out. This is public access right here. Well, then you can step away so somebody else can be served. Fine, I'll step away so somebody else can be served. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you. Now you're dismissed. No, we're not dismissing. We're not leaving until you leave. Normally, uh, frauditors and soft sits try that little technique at the end of an encounter just to make it seem like that they magically made the police go away. But you don't want to try that in the middle of the encounter because it only makes you look like a total tool at that point. No, I'm here in public access. Sir. You can't put, you can't make me leave public property. Yeah, we can't. No, you can't. Yes, because you're trespassing. You no longer have. They have to here. trespass me, sir. They did. Legally. With us. They have, sir. I know my rights, sir. You're in violation. If you know the rights. I'm the you color of law. Rights. You're violating my rights. I just served you, sir. Are you stupid or something? This does not apply. Okay. okay. This is the United Thank States of America. You. We're in Wisconsin. You're in Milwaukee. And you took up, did you take an oath? Did you take an oath to that? uphold the Constitution of the United yes. States? Are you a United States citizen? No. Well, I took an oath to protect the United States citizens. And and aliens. So you, and aliens. Who are you an alien of? What do you mean? Who are you an alien America. of? America. What country? America. So you are a citizen of the United States of America. I didn't say United States of America. I said America. You're just talking silly. We're I said leave. America. The United States is a federal corporation, okay. sir. Yeah, you got any proof to back that up? Otherwise, you're just pulling stuff out of your ass right now, and it stinks like crazy. So go ahead and put it back up there, because that's where it belongs. Damien. 28 Let's USC call. 3002. Smith. What did I tell you about pulling stuff out of your ass? I mean, put this stuff back in there, because you're getting it all wrong again, dude. So... Go back to a actual library and study these things. Otherwise, you're just making yourself look like a complete moron at this point. That's not my name. My name is Damien Lamar, if you want to know. Damien Lamar Smith. Of the family Smith. That's not my name. And stop misrepresenting. That is a law. That is a, you're breaking the law. You're breaking the law, sir. Man, you don't run me. Stop talking to me like you run me. But unfortunately, we had to get involved because you're not listening to them. Show me the trespass. Trespass has to be a legal document. Show me the trespass. Give me the document that this company trespassed me, sir. I know the law, man. You're not doing this inside. We're not doing this inside. You are doing. You're making a confrontation. Don't grab me, sir. I haven't committed a crime. I haven't committed a crime, sir. What crime have I committed? Disorderly conduct. And if you don't leave, it'll be trespassing. Let's Do go, you sir. understand? My First Amendment right is speak, sir. You can talk all you I'm want. I'm talking. You That's all I'm doing is talking. I to be quiet. You can talk That's what I'm want. doing. How is talking a disorderly conduct? Thank you, sir. You can't make threats to somebody. I didn't make a threat. Fear. You did. What threat? I gave her. This is what I gave her, sir. Understand. That's all I did. You additionally made some verbal threats. That what? Made your fear that you were going to cause harm to somebody. That is a crime. Well, I didn't make no you verbal threat. You don't have to threat. believe it. I didn't make a verbal you, threat, and sir. And you have your day before a judge. Yeah. I'm not I convicting you of anything. I'm just saying you were accused of something. You just kicked me out of a public place, sir. Yes, That's illegal. You would not provide your documentation sir, or payment sir, for you your vehicle that has been here. Told. You cannot state anything. We work for the city of Milwaukee, yeah. sir. If I know the law, calls, guys. Well, if you knew that, you uh, would have already left on your own. <laughs> <laughs> Just let me get you a contact get it card. Notarized. Let me get a contact card from both of you, and then we'll just go from there. I'm serving both of you right now. A uh, violation of my rights under the color of law. Okay. It's federal. I Trust know. Me. Who's it signed by, Judge? It will be. It's 
trust me, I have it notarized. You are able to get back your vehicle if you have another person come here and get it notarized. I have the person right here who wants to get it for me. Who's that? A friend of mine. Hey, he, where? He's here. here. I'll talk to him and he can grab your vehicle. Okay, well let's do that. Where is he? Hold on, he's, he's, he's right around. Bro. Okay, you he get, can do it. They was but like, they'll let you get my car for me. There's a payment though. I'll pay it. I'll, I'll uh, pay it. It's but, but listen, listen. Under, under. I know, but all they need is your ID and, they, I, and you can I get your car, man. There's no ID. I'm, I'm trying not to a help you citizen. too. I'm a non U.S. citizen. I'll show you all the papers. Non U.S. citizen. Uh, let me ask you something. Where is the non United States at? I mean, does it occupy the same dimension as we do? Because, well, if it does, well, that violates certain laws of physics, I believe. Or you guys do not have the right hey, to do what going? you're doing right now. Do you have an ID on you that you can grab this car? Yeah, I got an ID. All right. And I'll, I'll give you the cash, but they, okay, they violate, here. man. It's what they're asking. Okay. So you got to go up there with me because I'm kind of I pressed will. Time for we can I get will. Past the line. I don't know if they'll do it without a notary. Maybe they'll. I have that it for this. Do you have a notarized letter? Uh -huh. I mean, saying that he can get your car? Well, here. Let me go talk to him, okay? Yep, yeah, let's get you out of here. Okay. Do you got your ID? Here, here's our card, by the way. How much was it? Yeah, I don't want you guys. There's like 120. Oh, we. Y'all we'll know y'all violate. We won't get any trouble. Really? You don't have a qualified. Oh, just. Well, hold Hold on. It's 100. Right now you owe 190. 165 plus 25 for uh, what was the extra fee? What is 165? For no, I no have insurance. Right here. Oh, do you have proof of insurance? Because if you don't, that's another $25. Man. That's what she told me. That's not. This is 150. I'm not oh, making that up. That's 70, 75. You said 190? I think, yeah. Well, that's now, yes. That's, this is extortion. I just want this to be that the police is making me pay. We are not making Mom. you pay anything. And I just served, sir, sir, I, sir, I just served them a validation of debt. I just served them. And do, if you sir, know do what, you want to give him the if you know money, what a validation not, of debt is, if, if I serve them this, and, it's, and it's notarized, sir. If your car's here for 15 days, it's going to get not, recycled sir, or sold. Stop talking, man. I served them a validation of debt just now. If you guys know what a validation of debt is, that means that they cannot collect any debt until they validate it. Oh my goodness, dude, you are so stupid. It's making my head literally hurt. All you have to do is look up these things before you get into an argument with anybody and you won't make yourself look as stupid, dude, because a validation of debt is where a debt collection agency pretty much sends an angry letter to the uh, person that has the debt trying to get them to pay up. I mean, it has to have certain information and everything like that in it in order for it to be clear as to who needs to be paid in order to pay off the debt. I mean, come on now, dude. Do you even do any research whatsoever? I mean, look this shit up. up with a judge, man. I'm, I'm just... Our I'm, city attorney's listen. office does not... They don't validate that. They don't see that as legal. Man, listen, you I know the see. law, man. All right, well, you right now you can't... You can, can, you, can you borrow me a dub, man? If you, got, you ain't got... They, they extorting the shit out of me right now, man. This is a store. They have an ATM in there. You might have to get some. Yeah, I ain't even got enough. I, and it I, shouldn't I, even be in that much. I just ran out of the house because he came and got my cousin came and got me to do yeah. something. Right. Say a toll fee is one hundred dollars. One twenty-five. Where did one sixty-five come from? I don't know exactly the breakdown. Right Here's the toll fee. Here it is, sir. So they're 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 overcharging. I have it right here. Here's the fees. This is the state of Wisconsin. Oh, this is a letter from you to them. But this is their, this is their fees come off their website. The toll fee, the toll. Oh, for your, for this. For, for this, yeah, you're yeah. trying to get out of here. Right? Yes, this is their fees. When was it told? Um, on the, on the uh, third, I believe. On the eleventh. Told on the eleventh. I think that was like a Friday okay. or something. Yeah, so the fees don't even add up. 
I mean, come well, on, I guys. I don't know. That's, I don't make the fees. We don't set the Could fee. you give me your contact card, please, sir? I put both of our names on that. I don't I don't see it. D2, I don't see any uh, see badge I'm numbers. Oh, we can add that. Yeah, trust me, I know my law and my rights, and my rights are being violated under the color of law, and it clearly states that any, let me, I'll, I'll read this. I'm not going to listen to that. Man, you don't have to listen. Close your ear. Uh, Title 18, Section 242 makes it a crime for any person acting under color of law, of, of any law, to willfully deprive a person of a right or privilege protected by the Constitution or the laws of the United United States. For the purpose of Section 242, acts under color of law includes acts not only done by federal, state, or local officials within their authority, but also acts done beyond Are you the with him? Are you with him? Huh? Are you with him? No, I know him. He's just playing. Hey, he know, he know me. He goes, yeah. It sounds unusual. We're, we're trying to get local? back his car too, so he doesn't so come back and cause a disturbance. It's, you're violating my rights, man. Don't do this. That I know. That's what I'm going to try to do. Right on the road. Me out yeah. of a, a public access place you illegally. You at minimum committed an ordinance violation, which you could be Listen, cited and arrested. A person for. acting color law means of any statute, including police officers. Okay, any statute, code. Ordinance regulation. That's what you just said. You 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 quote the ordinance. You're acting under color color of law. Correct. That is illegal. That means I can cite you and arrest you for it. That means it's, it's illegal. illegal. Not under the United it's, States Constitution or the Wisconsin are you Constitution. Crazy? I'm not crazy. I just I read it to you. Well, you can this read whatever you want. This is coming from the Department of Justice, that sir. That doesn't mean it's law. You guys are funny. Everything on the so internet. You guys are funny. You, you, you have guys are funny. $190 trust to get trust me, I'm going to the law library. I'm going to get it certified. I know I know the law. Right. So once I get Same it certified. I, we also know the law. You know, you don't give up while you're breaking it then. While you're breaking, uh, violating my rights. All right, sir. Have a good one. So you're kicking me out. So, Mr. Yes. Mr. Knack. You, Mr. Knack. Right. If, you if, know, you know you Oh, man. Your ride just left. So here's here's what I gotta tell you from the tow lot manager. You are not allowed to come back, but they will release your car to somebody with a notarized letter, and they have to have an ID to show who they are, and then they have to have the money. That's what they want. Yes. Unless you can That's provide extortion. an ID right That's now, extortion. and they will give it to you. And I just served them a validation of debt, and by law, once you're served a validation of debt, all um um. Activity must cease until that debt is validated. That is the law. I don't know where you keep on reading this stuff at, but clearly from what I've seen about validation of debt, you are entirely wrong on all fronts, dude. And color of law, oh, you are so far off, you're not even in the same ballpark. That over the city attorney's uh, office. Uh, yeah. I'm just telling I'm you. I'm the, the attorney general, not the city okay, attorney, the attorney and the FBI because I'm going there right now to... To um for you guys. Alright. Because you just violated my rights. Alright. I'll okay. see you there, sir. My advice to you, Softheart, is just to quit while you're behind. Because you're never going to catch up, and you're not going to win any lawsuits because you don't have a freaking legal leg to stand on at this point. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.